So, um, here's a go-kart. I got the trailer pretty much done for now. I, um, put the trailer studs on, the wheel, lug nuts, all that good stuff. So it should be good to go. Um, appreciate all the, all the good comments I had about, um, putting those wheel studs in there. Um, I learned most of that from an old, old mechanic I used to work with. Uh, he, he would put the lug nuts on backwards and he said he'd give it a, a flatter spot to push in um, or pull those studs back out. And then uh, as far as freezing it, um, well metal shrinks so I figured it and it didn't take any time because I had to uh, wait the next day anyways for him so it's all good. Anyway so uh, here's the go-kart. Um, I uh, cleaned up the spark plug. It was it was pretty gunked up, which might indicate low spark anyways, uh, or at least it was running rich. But I uh, put a new spark plug in there, it didn't work, so, and then this one should be good. So, uh, onto this, there is a, a bolt up here, one on the side and one on each side. I'll take this off. And then this, let me see if we can see this. I was thinking that this is a 2002, but I might be wrong. I'm, I hadn't decoded one of these in a long time. Or it might be a 1980. <laughs> I'm not too sure. But, uh, Coda, no. Tip my workbench down. <laughs> anyway, sorry about that. Um, but anyways, I was thinking, this one has the old, um, points and condenser type ignition um, you can tell that by on that coil pack right there on the ones that don't have that uh, points and condenser they have that I can't remember now this might be one also I was thinking there's a bigger little bump on the outside of it I'm sorry I thought there was a little bigger, bigger bump on the outside. Let me take this old one off, and uh, we'll see what's. If it looks the same, then it's going to be the same. <laughs> but, anyways, also I'll clean up this flywheel a little bit. I started, kind of started to do it, and then I figured I'll get the old camera out and film this, and if it sucks, then. I just, uh, well, I just won't post it. Out a little bit. See how, uh, how this one has that, that bump out to the side. So I hadn't gone through my my old uh, ow, shirt. I hadn't gone through. I don't have a lot of uh, engine parts from for like small lawnmowers and stuff. And I just had that one sitting around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that off. Sorry. Because the new ones, they don't need the points and condenser. So I'm just going to cut that. About right there, just in case I do need that. <laughs> and then, uh, I'm coming here, I'm gonna finish cleaning that up. I don't know how the 
best way is to show this stuff getting in the way. Right here's your magnet, and uh, that's where it picks up from that from the magnet. Oops, good the wrong one. There you go. So you might be able to see that it says uh, cylinder side. So guess what? Bada bing. Here we go like this. Make it a little bit easier. We'll put it on that magnet. Good old smell of rust. Right. And as far as the spacing, let's see if I have a business card. A little thicker than a business card, but it'll work. Yeah, we had uh, tornadoes come through the west side of Oklahoma. So, you know, thoughts and prayers go out to those people out there. It's a uh, scary stuff and it uh, looks like we're uh, starting early with the tornadoes and all that good stuff. Okay. Take that back away. Seems like a nice healthy uh, healthy spark too. Where are we at? There we go. Let's see that I don't know if that's picking up or not. Y'all know I wouldn't lie to you. Yeah. Oops. Alright. There you go. Alright, so I'm going to put all this back together. And I'll probably wind up snipping off those wires a little bit farther down. I'll actually get a, um, a feeler gauge. Tighten that the rest of the way up. Um, and then, of course, install that back. And then we'll see if the uh, how good the carburetor is. We got a uh, got gas in there that they had left, and I don't know how long <laughs> I don't know how long it's been in there. So, anyways, so I got that, and then I guess the main thing is getting that running. And then after we do that, I've got to um, gotta figure out something for the master cylinder because it's. pretty bad there's a there's a little ear that had been broken off right there and then your your foot throttle your throttle pedal or your I'm sorry your brake pedal 
goes through here and I'm sure it goes into that tag that little ear right there to pivot on since that's broke off you can't really do that so I may wind up putting a, a tab on the you know welding a little piece on that that ought to work but first is this and then also it's it already has a kill switch on it I'm sorry for being so shaky but Anyways, already has a kill switch on it here, and then for whatever reason they just cut that off, and that comes back to here, which is going to go, which I'm going to wire it up to the back of this, where that little uh, tab was that you should have seen earlier, or you may have seen earlier, if you shouldn't have seen it, because uh, I didn't really point it out. But anyways, so this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, yeah, comment, rate, give suggestions. I'm all about that. Um, thanks for watching. Later.